Hi, I'm Bob Tabor with www.learnvisualstudio.net and it's time for another challenge. We're going to work on the Hamburger Heaven Challenge. This will force you to create a hamburger style navigation for a Windows 10 application, a fictitious application. Let me walk you through it and then we'll go through each of the requirements just like we did in the previous challenges. So as you can see here, I've got uh, two main navigation areas across the top to the right you see the search area to the left you see the actual hamburger button when I click it it opens up the split view panel uh, or the split panel rather and I can select one of two primary sections of my application when I go to the financial page you see that that's kind of the home page for the application when I change over to the food page notice that not only does the title change but also I get this little icon that uh, allows me to go back to the financial page, the home page. All right, so you might be thinking, how am I going to do the center area? Don't worry, it's all an image. I just wanted it to look finished, you know. Uh, so I'll, we'll talk about that in just a moment. But as you select one of these options, you're going to load a uh, one of two XAML pages into a frame, just like we talked about. Uh, this doesn't do anything inside of here. It's just an image on that page. There's going to be a financial.xaml and a food.xaml. Each of them host a single image control and I'll give you those images uh, here. Okay, so let's walk through all the requirements for this. Uh, I'm just going to leave this running so we can reference it. Uh, you can see that I have quite a few resources for you to consider. Here are the food and the financial PNGs. These are what you see in those main areas there. Uh, also, I have this instructions.txt. Uh, We're going to look at that in the rest of this video. And then here are some screenshots that will give you uh, some guidance on what it should look like so that you don't have to rerun the video and pause it and all that stuff. Okay. And uh, I'll mention that in here. All right. Let me drag this into the recording area here. All right, looks like I have two number nine instructions. Let me fix that while I see it here. Great. All right, going up to the top here, uh, you're going to need the two images available with the code for this lesson, the food.png and the financial.png, uh, and you're going to add them to the assets folder in your project. Then you have to add two pages to your app, a food.xaml and a financial.xaml, and each of these pages will host a single image control. Uh, with set to food.png or financial.png. So again, these are this is an entire page and it just has one image on it. Uh, we're going to create a frame inside of this outermost main page.xaml. All right. Number three, you have to create an uh, an app featuring the hamburger style navigation using a split view. It must display a search bar in the upper right hand corner, a hamburger button button. Uh, on the upper left hand corner and a back button next to that uh, in the title of the page. So that's, uh, we're talking about the search area here. Uh, it doesn't do anything, don't worry about that. It has the hamburger button and uh, if we move to the food it opens up this uh, back arrow and we can see the title here uh, at the very top. Great. You have to create two navigation options, financial and food. So that's what I'm talking about here. Okay. Uh, and whenever uh, each navigation option will have both an icon and text. And the icon doesn't seem to match financial and food. Pick any icon you want. Try to match up a financial and a food icon. That would be great. Just go through the character map to find something that looks like it might fit. Number five, in the main area, you're going to use a frame. Okay, we already talked about that, this main area here. Uh, and when the application starts, the financial.xaml page will be loaded into the frame. Okay. The background should be only displayed when you're not viewing uh, the home page, the financial page. So again, only should show that arrow when I'm on that second page. And the arrow should actually work. So when I click it, we should be able to go back to the, uh, the financial page, the home page. So the search button and the text box have to be aligned to the right, like you see here. Uh, and the button has to have this search icon, so you're going to need to find that one in order to complete the challenge. Try to figure out how to set the placeholder text in this text box as well. We didn't talk about this, but there's a special property that allows you to set that word search in there, but as soon as they start typing, um, this, that word will go away. Try to figure out how to set that placeholder. Uh, number nine, the back button ha must use a back 
arrow icon. We already talked about that, right? Um, font sizes that I used include 24, 28, and 36. Uh, the colors that I use uh, will include light grays, all right, and maybe a medium gray. Uh, and you should use these images as your guide. So here's the A and the B and the C image, right, and that will help you out. Uh, and so just like all challenges, try to solve this without my help. Also, only watch enough of the solution video to get unstuck. So I'm uh, going to supply the solution video. Please feel free to watch it, but struggle a little bit before you just jump in and watch that video. I don't want you to just uh, go right from this video into the next one and not actually try these things. So if you actually do solve it, then that would be also a great chance to go to the solution video and see how I solved it versus how you would solve it. Okay? Uh, maybe you learn a technique, maybe you took a different route. Uh, that's great. Uh, there's many different ways to solve this, I'm sure. All right, so let's see what you come up with. Struggle, that's how you learn. And this is going to be a valuable exercise because it is going to be helpful throughout the remainder of this series. All right, so we'll see you in the solution video. Thanks.